Well, I'm here at the Best Western. Who doesn't love a pajama party? Well, I'm going to have a lot of fun tonight because we're here for a red pajama party, raising funds and raising awareness for the MS Society. And it's going to be an exciting event. Again, the communities come together, sold out crowd. The ladies are all inside. The festivities are underway. So let's take a look and head in. MS touches the lives of men and women across the community of Halton and across this country. And tonight we were at the Best Western Hotel for a fabulous event, a red and white pajama party, raising money and raising awareness for the MS Society of Halton. And thanks to Troy's Diner that provided this fabulous pasta and salad for the ladies tonight at this red pajama party. While the ladies were enjoying their dinner, we had a chance to speak to a few about the reason they were there and how MS has touched their lives. Well, as they're working away around the room as people are having their, their past and enjoying their food, we thought we'd collect and, and maybe learn a few stories on why some of the particular people are here and why some of these women are drawn to this event in particular tonight for MS. And Roanne, maybe tell us your reason for being here and a little bit about your story. Well, I actually know about six or seven people uh, that have MS. One of them is my dear friend Sherry. And Sherry is the team captain for sneaky feet, for, uh, yeah. The, I, noticed, I noticed feet on your shirt. Feet on my shirt. Um, and she's, we are one of the top fundraising teams. I think we are the, actually the top. You won an award, so maybe tell everybody about that. We've won most spirit. Um, last year we won largest team. Uh, Sherry's got three daughters that all walk. Her husband walks, her brother and sister-in-law. And uh, my three daughters also walk. And uh, Mark, who's organizing this, is on the team. So. Every year it's a few more and a few more and uh, we start fundraising early. And Well, how does it feel watching a friend go through this? Because it's such a journey, it's such a roller coaster of symptoms. It's not as if you say, oh, every week I feel like this. You don't know from one day to the next with MS how you're going to be feeling. How is that to be a, su a support, a rock for a friend going through this? Yeah, well, and Sherry and I have a lot in common. We both have three small children and uh, we're similar in age. And she is the kind of person that would bend over backwards for you. And I know if, if it was me, she'd do whatever she could as well. And it breaks my heart because she is so full of energy. Uh, it, you know, sometimes in the morning, so full of energy. And by noon, one o'clock, she's lying in bed. And um, it, it, it's really hard because you feel so helpless, you know, that you really can't physically do anything to, to make things okay, easier. We're, we're moms, right? What to expect. You really you, don't. You want to make it better. It's our, it's our... This is my little way of, of, you know, when she asked me, she said, were you interested in walking? I right away did it. And um, my daughters all do it. Their dad does it. Um, we get... It, last year was the first year for him, but uh, the girls have done it uh, for the last two years. This will be our third year, and we're looking forward to it. I'm already all registered and ready to go. So, But uh, this is great. I went to the pink pajama party last year and really enjoyed it. And uh, when this came up, there was no way I was going to miss it. So. And you'll definitely be there in April. I'll be there in April, yeah. So let's do a call out to teams. Again, it's such an important event. And for raising awareness and raising funds to find a cure and just even that helping of people that are going through that for support. And, there is, and there's... You know, there's research being done that you can see it's moving forward. So you actually see that there's something happening uh, with those dollars that are being, and, and the MS Society does really put a lot into actually helping people like on with their day-to-day -day lives. Well, we're having so much fun here at this red pajama party, raising money and raising awareness for MS. But the thing I find amazing with MS, and I don't know a lot about it, just in discussions mm -hmm. with people who've gone through that horrific thing, MS has a different face with everyone. Mm -hmm. MS is not mm -hmm. classically, you know, you're going to have this, you're going to have that, and that's your classic top five symptoms. Yeah, it's different with everyone, and I don't know if that is, do you, is, it, is it more frustrating of a disease to have that kind of a thing? And it being seeing what your sister's gone through, mm -hmm. How do you, again, the research is there, but how do you let someone know in the next couple of months you'll be feeling this or over the next, the course of the next few years? I think that support That's system right. that you're offering becomes critical mm -hmm. in cases mm -hmm. of MS. Mm -hmm. do, do you find mm -hmm. that people are asking mm -hmm. a lot of questions and find it difficult? Yeah. Well, a lot of people do want to know. They want to know what's going to happen mm -hmm. to me in the next year or two. That's probably the most challenging thing mm -hmm. for us is to say, you know what, there's no crystal ball. Mm -hmm. And you can't necessarily say, well, my neighbor had MS mm -hmm. and this is the situation that they were in. It, it, it's, it just doesn't work that way. So um, we're certainly familiar with lots mm -hmm. of people who have had MS for a very, very long time and are leading a very healthy, mm -hmm. uh, active lifestyle. And yes, there are some who are a little more affected and their, their functional status is, has been altered. Um, but mm -hmm. you can't really focus mm -hmm. on 
what tomorrow is going to bring. So you can really only manage today and prepare for tomorrow and, and do what you can. But yeah, the crystal ball isn't there. And how lucky is your sister? Well, you know, it's, um, I, I tell you, the MS touched our family 26 years ago when my sister was diagnosed. And um, she had given birth and within a couple of weeks, she couldn't walk, she couldn't see. And, uh, and, and so my sister is one of the rare sort of worst case scenarios. You know, we moved forward 26 years and sh she is a quadriplegic. She, you know, and it does get to that for some people. Yes. But I do know of a lot of people who don't get to that stage, like they do have a productive life. But you're, you just said something a minute ago about getting that phone call and, oh. and, and what's gonna happen. And I was sharing with Robin tonight for yeah. the first time. I have a, a daughter who's 30 and who's just become a mom, and I got the call Tuesday night, she's been diagnosed with MS. Oh my God. So I got that phone call just this week. She wants to know what's, what's gonna, gonna happen. happen to she me, sees her aunt, who's of so course. debilitated, and now she's, she's worried, and I'm, and I'm oh. saying, baby, they're like, that's, that's the worst case scenario. Like, yeah. not everybody gets to be like that, yeah. but you know, let's, let's just do this one day at a time. So this week has been a deja vu for me mm -hmm. with, with my own child mm -hmm. and it's it does it strikes and it's and, and it's and it was funny because when I was coming in I was saying how lucky is your sister because you're involved with the MS society I'm so you've involved got, you know and for her yeah. to say I'm really scared you've got that network of a huge mm -hmm. support mm -hmm. system that you can mm -hmm. be that support rock yeah. for her yeah. and now for your daughter moving forward mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, you know that it's it's life is amazing you know when all of a sudden you take on these roles in life mm -hmm. think, Boy, I'm involved with the MS Society, and look at how it's affected your life. And it's just you know? touched my family again, you but know, once again. You've done some exciting mm -hmm. things. I have, raising I money, have. raising awareness. Mm -hmm. And there's a special, special story. Um, talk about climbing a Stairmaster. <laughs> you guys took it to a whole other level. Forget that. <laughs> it's like, you guys took it to a whole other level. Tell us about mm -hmm. what you guys accomplished mm -hmm. a couple mm -hmm. years ago. Mm -hmm. Well, I, uh, back in 2009, um, our, the Halton chapter had mm -hmm. we'd become involved with the, uh, the MS Corps in 2009. And so as the executive director of the chapter, I was responsible in promoting the program and trying to attract new climbers. And knowing Kathy from, Kathy was the chair of our the walk committee, so I thought, this is a gal who would probably take on one of those challenges. And of course, Kathy came to the meeting mm -hmm. and and uh, we had kind of stepped aside and just kind of caught up because it, it had been a couple of years mm -hmm. since we had really mm -hmm. touched base with each other. And she said, you know, why aren't you climbing that mountain with us? And I looked at her and I thought, this girl doesn't do mountains. <laughs> but anyhow, so the long and the short of it yeah. was we, we climbed the mountain together. We were tent mates mm -hmm. and everything mm -hmm. else, mm -hmm. but it was uh, quite the challenging year. We were both required to raise $10,000 each and uh, the cost of the trip was mm -hmm. our own, so we were responsible for getting ourselves to Africa. Yeah. But uh, it was quite the challenge, and Kathy's then go 